As we saw in 2022, events that are judged possible but not very likely to happen can materialize and they can have a profound effect over a multitude of global systems such as food security, such as energy transition, such as peace within Europe. And so for a sovereign investor, properly taking these risks into account would allow to insulate themselves from adverse impacts on their portfolios and to be more aware of the global megatrends that are shaping up for the next decade. It has been long known in academic circles that support for human rights, support for civil liberties, support for democracy can bring superior economic performance to a country. But what we could see in 2022, that actually this can directly translate itself into returns on sovereign portfolios. So therefore, we're looking at what is the long-term performance of the sovereign debt of countries that are deemed to be not free. And we're also introducing a study that was done on nighttime lights and their correlation with GDP growth. So it turns out that the conclusions reached by our research and external studies that we refer to can be very surprising. In our most recent sustainability report, we go over the most important themes that are going to shape the mega trends that are facing humanity in the next decade. Obviously, the frequency with which these gray swans are going to appear would be greatly influenced by climate change. And human activity in the form of carbon emissions is greatly influencing climate change. So in this report, we're introducing our emissions model where we're looking on a country level where the emissions are coming from, which sectors are the most emitting for each country, and then within each sector, what kind of fuels these sectors are using. And using this, we can judge how each country is preparing for complete decarbonization, the so-called net zero, and who is ahead and who is lagging behind. As we have often seen, decarbonization at a later stage is going to be much more expensive than decarbonizing drastically and early. So we need to track each country's progress towards these goals. Deforestation is still extremely important to the planet and to Candrium. Um, last year at COP26, we saw that the agreement to end deforestation was one of the major results of the global meeting. However, this year, the focus seems to be on biodiversity and it could not be more timely. As we saw in the conflict of Europe, Food supply and food security can be weaponized, so it is very important um, to take into account what other factors can pose a major threat to our food supply chains. And the destruction of the natural environment, and in particular of uh, biodiversity, is such a major threat. In combination with climate change, this is likely to pose significant problems for large parts of the world in the next decade and beyond. Our analysis is following both deforestation and biodiversity on a global level. And what we can observe is that significant population centers are experiencing pressures on multiple fronts that are posing significant danger on the food supply chains for these populations. The consequences of tail risk event materializing, especially in Asia, could be very significant. And this is something that we need to continue monitoring going forward.
In 2022, um, energy transition came to the top of the agenda of European governments because of the conflict in Ukraine. Obviously, transition towards um, renewable energy is important, but it's important now on several fronts. First, we're talking about energy security and energy independence. Second, we're talking how energy prices are translating into food prices and the general cost of living that has affected European countries. The energy mix of a country has traditionally been looked at from the standpoint of emissions that it generates. But what we found out is that transitioning towards cheaper renewable energy sources can greatly improve the competitiveness of a country and its exports on the global markets, but also make it independent of external suppliers and therefore shield its population from adverse effects. As we saw in 2022, monitoring the likelihood of sustainability risk materializing is extremely important for the investment performance of portfolios. The investment community can play a crucial part in the transitioning towards a more sustainable global economy. What we can do is directing financing flows away from medium-term unsustainable activities and towards sustainable opportunities. Doing the right thing is both imperative and can be extremely profitable. This presents a huge opportunity for us as a community to finance the transition to a better future.